Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Classic and today we're gonna try something that we've never done in any of the previous videos. We're just gonna kinda click on the missions tab and go with whatever our daily mission is and just hunt on that reserve. It's been a while since we've done something kinda random like this, so I figured it might be kind of a fun thing to do. So the mission for today is to spot a female moose and we can go to Red Feather, Hamilton, or White Rhyme to do that. And I'm kind of feeling like going to Red Feather Falls so that we can take out some of the Roosevelt elk and search for a rare blacktail deer. I think this could be quite a bit of fun, so let's go ahead and head out there. And we will be going with a bit of an old favorite for our main rifle, with that being the 7mm break action rifle. This thing is incredibly powerful and it just looks absolutely amazing and I much prefer the 7mm here in Classic over the one in Call of the Wild. Especially because of this premium variation of it that just looks absolutely beautiful. And then we also have ourselves the heavy recurve, it's uh, quickly becoming one of my favorite bows to use. It's incredibly quiet and it's actually not that difficult to use. It's uh, relatively easy to aim for a traditional bow. And uh, that is our first sign of life, we got ourselves a bull moose. Well, we got this moose walking right towards us, we definitely don't want to spook it off, so I'm going to go ahead and go prone until it gets closer, and then we're going to try and get a heart shot with the heavy recurve. It shouldn't be too big of an issue, I just want to make sure we hit either the heart or every other organ combined to at least drop it in its tracks, I don't want it running. And if we just get like a single lung or something like that, this thing is going to run quite a ways. It is uh, quite an interesting looking moose to say the least. It's kind of small but it's like really wide it's a strange one and this is gonna be not the shot I was hoping for but let's see if we can get in there and we definitely did so I'd say that's a pretty good way to start things off today but yeah once again this is a very interesting moose I can't say I've seen too many that look like this this is kind of a unique one I'm curious what it's actually gonna score so 105 it's a very strange looking moose well, there we have a female moose which should complete the mission that we have for today and that is uh, what we came here for primarily along with uh, whatever else we end up finding along the way, but this should complete the daily mission. So we now have that out of the way, which means we can focus on finding some big males and hopefully getting a rare or two because I've been really wanting to find some more rares of all of the different antlered species. I haven't killed one I think ever since I started playing pl uh, classic on the channel. It's been kind of a long dry streak of no male rares. We've had plenty of does that ended up being rares, but no bucks sadly, or uh, bull elk, or anything like that. It'd be nice to see one of those show up sometime soon. Now I do want to get some use out of the 7mm today as well, so let's go ahead and just take this moose with the 7mm, and we will uh, just see we can get a good angle here. I think this should be a pretty easy shot to make, so let's just do that real quickly, and that should have hit heart, I imagine, or very close to heart. Well, here he is. Let's go ahead and see if we ended up getting the heart like I was aiming for, and yep, that's exactly what we ended up hitting. This one's just a little bit bigger than the last, but still a pretty small moose, so uh, not really anything trophy shot worthy, unfortunately. Well, that is a grunt from a buck. Let's go ahead and pick that up. That's actually really close to where we just fast traveled to. I decided to come over to this uh, tree stand and tent over here just to see if there was any whitetail. And uh, sure enough, we had one call. And I actually did see a doe bedded right next to the tent, but I just let her live since uh wasn't really too interested. But now we got ourselves a buck over there as well, so I guess we will wait for him to come out and try to get him with the heavy recurve. Oh, there he is right there. That's actually uh, not too bad of a buck. He looks pretty decent. Let's get a quick score estimate on him. 130 to 170 appears to be a... I think it's a 5x5. Interesting, so it's a 5x5 five five high rack. Kind of a cool buck to come across. And we just got the grunt from another. And that one is over to our right, so we'll just uh, drop a quick marker on that. That way we know kind of where to expect it from. Uh, this is going to make things difficult, because now we got to worry about two of them that should be coming towards us at about the same speed, and should arrive near us at the same time. So there's definitely a high chance of one spooking. I think what I'm going to do is walk towards this one, just to kind of get some distance between me and this 5x5 over here. 
so this buck should be just right in front of us, and I think I actually do see it now. Yeah, it's definitely him. It doesn't appear to be any decent size at all. Yeah, 110 to 155, so much smaller than this other one, but it is closer, so we'll take this guy out first, just so we don't end up spooking it. Well, this should be a pretty easy shot to make right here. Let's hope it doesn't spook off before I actually get the shot off. And it was just a little bit to the left, unfortunately. I probably should have took my time with that, but I tried to rush it so we could hopefully just get it down and then wait for this other one, but that was uh, definitely not the move. I probably should have just took my time there. So this buck's just kind of sitting there, not really moving, so I'm just trying to inch up towards it. And I think we should just be able to sneak up close enough to use the uh, heavy recurve. And in fact, he's actually moving towards us now. So uh, we're definitely within range. It looks like about 20 out. For some reason, it wouldn't let me aim up farther. Uh, this will definitely be good right here. So let's just try to let an arrow fly real quick. And that is one buck down. The other one is going to take a little while to die off. But we will go track it once we pick this guy up. This is definitely the best buck of the day so far. Not too shabby at all. Scores a solid 137, so not too bad. Well, we finally found the smaller of the two bucks. It was uh, quite a long time of tracking, but there it is. We didn't even get vitals, unfortunately, but it did score 114, so uh, surprisingly, the two bucks we found today haven't been, I guess, too tiny. They've been pretty average size, if not a little bit above average, so that's at least been pretty decent. Ooh, there we go. That is a bull Roosevelt elk. That is exactly what I was hoping to hear coming over here. So let's uh, hope that this thing ends up being a giant and I keep accidentally uh, clicking out before I place it. There we go. Finally got it down. That uh, took longer than it should have, but hope that this will be a good bull. It's been a bit since I've had a good, like, 380-plus Roosevelt Elk, and it's been ages since I've had a rare one that was a bull, at least. And in fact, I don't think I've ever had a bull rare, so that would be kind of cool to find if we can. Okay, so that one's definitely not anything special. However, there's typically more than one. However, this does uh, appear to be a solo one, which is a bit unfortunate. I was really hoping for more, but... I guess it's better than nothing. You know, as a content creator, one of the things that always bugs me personally is when I go back to edit a video like this and I realize that I've said one particular word a million different times throughout the video or just a lot within a short period of time. Let me know if there's anything like that that has bugged you in uh, your own personal life or like your videos if you do YouTube content. Because that's something that I notice quite a bit when I'm editing is that there are some videos and just some parts of videos where for some reason I just end up saying the same word a lot and what kind of triggered this was I just said I'm pretty sure I just said however like three times within a couple sentences and yeah it's one of those things where looking back at it when I'm editing and things that really annoys me but unfortunately I just keep on doing it, and I'm not exactly sure how you could even uh, train yourself not to repeat the same words throughout the video multiple times, but let me know if you guys have had similar, like, pet peeves like that. But before these guys get any closer, we should probably take a shot and, ooh, that's actually a good one right there. That's a good elk. It's probably not going to be too much over 300, but it's still a solid one. And we definitely want to make sure we get that one. However, he's kind of tucked away in the back. The others are in front of him for the most part. Although, they are starting to walk away. So maybe we'll get a shot at him first. That would be uh, preferable at least. And yeah, this is uh, definitely going to be our chance to take this guy out if we can. There we go. Perfect. So we got the big one. Now I'm not really too worried if the others spook off. But if we play this smart, we might be able to get all of them. There's at least one more that's somewhat close, and they're actually kind of walking around in circles, and some of them are even walking away. Oh my gosh, that was really loud. That's when you know they're close. And yeah, the rest are probably going to spook, but... Let's uh, get this guy down before he runs as well. 
Yeah, let's actually just try to get one with the 7mm and I just dipped in frame rate a lot for some reason. That definitely didn't help at all there, but we did get two of them including the bigger of the two, so let's check these guys out. This one should be probably like high 280s, maybe low, well, yeah, 280. I was going to say maybe low 300s, but it is indeed just a 280. It's still a decent one and we did complete a mission because of it so that's also nice Ooh, there we go we got another grunt from a white-tailed deer this one's just barely within the range of our hunter mate I'm uh, honestly pretty lucky that it is because otherwise it would have spooked off from me sprinting there so let's uh, see if we can get this guy called in hopefully it'll be something good we've uh, had a lot of average size deer and elk and moose today but nothing huge Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a good deer. That is a really good buck. Let's uh, take a closer look at it. That is a beauty. 155 to 195 on the estimate. What a beautiful white-tailed deer. And you know, it's fitting that we would find a buck like this because right after we take this guy out, we're actually going to take a look at a highlight that I've got from, I think, about three weeks ago at this point. I've been sitting on it for a while because I just didn't have a good video to uh, put it with, but we are going to take a look at one of the biggest whitetail that I've killed since getting the 200 around a year ago, and actually it was easily the biggest that I've killed since then, so we're going to take a look at that next, but... First, we got to take this guy down, and this very well could be close to scoring the same as the one that we're about to take a look at. And honestly, I think since I'm about to fast travel anyway, we might as well just take this out with the 7mm, so if we can get a good angle on it, we might as well just let this thing go and hopefully just uh, destroy it where it stands. And that will do the trick right there. I'm excited to see what this will score and honestly a lot of this score is going to depend on whether or not this is a 7x7 seven seven or an 8x8. Eight eight. I'm just praying that it's going to be an 8x8 eight eight, but I've got a feeling it's a 7 so I guess we'll find out. Alright let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh my gosh this is an 8x8. Eight eight. Oh my gosh this could very well be a 190 plus. Please let this break 190. I swear, if it does, it doesn't. 174, so it must have a lot of uh, short tines. That's still a really good whitetail deer, though. I was pretty excited to see that this was an 8x8, eight eight, but sadly it didn't quite score as much as I was hoping for. However, it's still a really good whitetail. Let's uh, see what the issue is here. There's definitely some short tines on both sides. But honestly, that's a solid deer. That's a good whitetail. Honestly, I kind of like the look of this trophy shot right here. It's not perfect, but there's not really too much I can do with uh, the bad lighting in here. So I think that honestly looks pretty good. Let's uh, go to chroma and yeah, that looks solid. I'm uh, pretty happy with that and I accidentally tabbed out. So hopefully it won't bug things out and okay, it didn't. Uh, I, I think we're good. Uh, no, that definitely was not, uh, <laughs> that was weird. There we go. Let's, uh, go to the chroma again. And, yeah, we'll just accept that. That's a solid whitetail, but it's not as nice as the one that we're about to take a look at. So, I guess without further ado, let's jump straight into that. So, this guy right here is easily one of the largest white-tailed deer that I have come across ever since we killed our 200 scoring whitetail over a year ago at this point. And this guy just happened to arrive at a time where I was not even looking for white-tailed deer. I was actually on Red Feather just trying to complete some of the elk missions. Uh, this was a little bit before I was doing all the grinding for the spending spree video so I was still trying to earn a lot of gems and had quite a ways to go and I ended up stumbling upon this guy and he just happens to be one of the largest whitetail that I've killed like I was saying since the 200 and I was very impressed to see how high he scored. Now it's definitely not what I had come there for but I am incredibly happy that I ended up getting it because it was a 190 high rack which is pretty cool it's not too often that you get a high rack that large 
and it's just hard enough to get a high rack in general most of the time, but this one just happened to be incredibly huge. So it's about the best whitetail trophy I could have wanted besides like a high rack 200. But now that we've shown that off, I guess let's get back to the rest of the video. Well, now that you guys have seen that, I think it's about time we go ahead and end the video there. But I hope you all enjoyed. It was quite a bit of fun to get out here on Red Feather Falls and take out a pretty good 170s whitetail, along with getting to show off that awesome 190 scoring whitetail that I got a few weeks ago. I've been waiting to show that off, but I just wanted to get the right video to put it in, and we finally got an occasion where it kind of fit in. So I'm glad that we got to show that off, but... If you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys want me to do here in Classic on one of the future videos. And also, let me know what your favorite rifle in the Hunter Classic is, because I'm curious. I want to know what types of guns you guys like, and if there's one that's a lot of you commonly like, then maybe I'll end up doing a video with whatever weapon that might be. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!